All right, so Professor Monk just released her patient. She's coming back. She's gonna grab a cup. This is gonna be for our water lines. She's gonna put it in an area where she can grab it. Then she's gonna hand hygiene. And now we're going to break down the room. So she's gonna glove up because remember this is contaminated. We just saw a patient. We don't wanna to touch anything without gloves on. So she's gonna glove up and now she's gonna break down all these barriers and the tray that we used on the patient. So first thing to do would be to run your water lines. That way you don't forget about them. So she's gonna pick up her air water syringe. Mm -hmm. She's gonna run that in the HVE. We'll just turn it on and we run it. So remember, this is 20 seconds she's gonna run, okay? And we'll take that tip off of there so we know that that's done. Yes, and then she's gonna pull off her saliva ejector. This one you have to take off to be able to run the water. Drop that, she's gonna run this line for 20 seconds. That side is done. And she's gonna take that tip off. So when she takes it off, you have to pull back the yellow ring and then pull out. There we go. Don't twist, never twist those guys. Okay, now we're gonna come on the other side. So let's talk about the water line there. So definitely the air water. She's gonna run for 20 seconds. She can do it in either one of those suctions. You can do it in a cup, it doesn't matter where. Putting the tip in there, running it for 20 seconds. Now that air water's done. She's gonna take that tip off. Pull back and pull. Okay, now we have hand pieces. So let's talk about this. Our slow speed does not have water in it. So we do not need to run that one. So she's just gonna pull that one off and then untwist where she put it on. You're just gonna untwist that. There we go. That one goes back in. Now our high speed has water coming out of it. So what she's gonna do is take off the hand piece, unscrew the collar there. Okay, she's gonna put the hand piece on the tray. Now to run the hand piece, she has a cup and then she's gonna have to use the rheostat down here to push it. So she's gonna run that hand piece in the cup away from her for 20 seconds, okay? That's done. And the handpiece goes right back in. Now she can get rid of that cup. Oh, good. All right, so now she's gonna throw all her disposables away in her little trash bag here. Cotton rolls, two by two, suctions, all single use items. Mm -hmm. Good, okay. So now she's gonna get off all her barriers. So we're gonna start over here and do this tray one last because we're gonna to have to pick up our tray. So she's gonna take off the laptop barrier without touching. You see how she just pulled it off of there. She's gonna grab the patient napkin and the goggles. That's trash and then the headrest cover. She's just gonna pull that guy off and then she can use that. She can put stuff in there However you want to do it. She's double checking, make sure she has all her barriers off. Good. And now she's going to start to fold up this barrier where the tray is. Fold it up. Now she's picking up that tray. And you see how she's kind of rolling it? She's not touching underneath at all. And then we're going to take this to the sterilization area. Okay, she's gonna throw that stuff in the trash there. Her tray comes in, we're gonna go to the dirty side, the red side, drop her tray there. She can drop it or she can put it in the rack, either one. Sometimes there gets a lot of trays there, so you might have to put it in the rack. Okay, so immediately right now, she's removing her gloves. You don't wanna walk in the hallway with dirty gloves on. Right into the trash can. She's gonna hand hygiene. And now we're going back to disinfect the room. Okay. So to disinfect the room now, she needs to put on her 
exam gloves and her utility gloves. Now here, she can decide. She can decide. So if your utility gloves are your own utility gloves, you can choose to wear gloves underneath or not wear gloves underneath because those are yours. Nobody else is gonna be using those. They are a bit easier to get on without gloves underneath, for sure. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to disinfect. And remember, we're just disinfecting where there were no barriers because our barriers did not become broken. They were not broken when we took them off. So she's gonna grab two wipes, always two wipes, okay? So our assistant chair, there were no barriers on there. So she's gonna wipe, holding with one, wiping with the other. Just wiping the whole thing down. Don't forget the handle, because we might have adjusted it. There we go. Okay, now she's gonna go to her suctions. Remember the table had a barrier, so we don't have to worry about the table, but all this right here didn't have a barrier. So do you see how she grabs with one and holds, kind of wraps the other one around? And she's gonna do that whole cord. She's getting in all those crevices, slide down the cord, mm -hmm. and then you have to wipe the little hole. There we go. Puts it back in, grabs the next one. Wiping all the little crevices. Mm -hmm. All in those little holes. Wipe the hole. Now she can continue to use these wipes until they're not wet anymore. So remember, they're fine until they're not wet anymore then you have to get new ones. Wiping all around, all the way down in the crevice. There we go, now she's gonna go to doctor's side. Remember, we don't have to wipe this whole thing because it had a barrier on it. Now we're going over here and we're just gonna grab the ones we use because in these other holes right here, we had the barrier covering, so we don't have to wipe all that. Just wipe it in the hole. And she goes about an arm's length of wiping. We don't have to wipe that whole entire hose, but just about an arm's length. Okay, now she's gonna come over to the doctor chair. The whole back side. And now the doctor's chair is gonna have the two adjustments, so we wanna make sure we wipe both of those. There we go. And so she's always on her wipes. You see how she's not touching anything? She's just on those wipes. Now we're coming to the chair. So the chair had a headrest, so we don't have to wipe the headrest, but we gotta wipe the back. And she's using both hands. You see that? She's got both hands going. Gonna get those armrests. Patients love to check those, touch those armrests. There we go. Good. And then we do have to wipe this little tray table right here. Good. And then up the arm. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. And then the light handles there and the little, this little um, switch right here. It's got a plastic cover so you can wipe that. And she's wiping the handles. Okay, so we have everything, after we have everything wiped, she's gonna take those wipes and wipe her gloves now. We're gonna wipe our gloves. And well, we could if there, if let's say the laptop had a cover over it, the doctor or the um, instructor might have touched those arms right there. Usually we'll tell you if we touch something there. So now she's going to take those, 
do her first wipe of her gloves there. And now she's gonna grab two more wipes and now we have to wipe one more time. Because why? Our first wipe was our cleaning. So now this wipe, when she goes on, we don't really have to scrub too much. We just have to get the disinfectant on the surface. So if you notice, she's just wiping over it to make sure that it's wet. This is a nice quick wipe. It's much quicker. Down, wipe. So she's now we're disinfecting. We gotta get that chemical on there to sit for that three minutes to make sure everything is disinfected. And again, we don't have to do the tray table because that barrier was on there. But if that barrier became broken for some reason while we were in our procedure, then we would have to wipe underneath there. So you see this wipe is much quicker. You don't have to scrub. We just want to get the chemical on the surface. And so back to wiping her gloves. She could have wiped her gloves in between there or she could have waited till the end to wipe her gloves. So we're just getting that chemical everywhere. And again, you can use those wipes until they're not wet anymore. Remember, we wanna get the surface wet. Light handles. Coming across the arm, onto the table. And you see how she's doing it in kind of a, she's got kind of a rhythm here. So she's not going from one chair, walking all the way over. She's doing it so that she's being efficient. Both hands going. There we go. And then the arms over here. The instructor touched them. Beautiful, now she'll take those wipes and wipe her gloves. Disinfect them. And she's looking, so I want you to see how she's going to come out of those gloves. You can wipe again, yeah. Let's wipe one more time. You wanna make sure that you disinfect those gloves. This is one wipe she's gonna use because these gloves are gonna stay with you. They're gonna considered clean. So she's gonna make sure she gets a lot of chemical on there. And now if you do not have gloves underneath, you have to be very careful when you're removing these utility gloves. So you almost kind of have to shimmy out of them without touching them because you don't wanna to touch the chemical. So she's gonna pull off just halfway, pull off halfway. There we go, and then she's gonna scoot out of them and drop them on the counter. There we go. They have to sit for their time. And then hand hygiene. There we go.